Yes. We don't inspire each other, we steal from each other. Yes. So inspiration is... Yeah, that's from the world of, of liars. It's stealing. Mm. called Study for the Amazing Comeback of Dr. Freud. Usual choreography when you watch any painting is you, you look at the image and then you look at the title and you look at the year and then you have a package of three things. Year, title and image. It's blind date. He made a joke. He wants to confuse us. It looks like a weird nude from the back. The figure is transparent as the shadow is transparent. And then on top of this figure, is this weird uh, Mufti or Taliban looking face. It's, it's obvious, um, obviously a policeman who's disguised himself as a cup of tea and a wealthy man with a gun. It could be a, a, a kind of a woman dressed up like a man, but even the head seems like it doesn't really belong to the body. There's also Humanity and humanity is in bad shape, very thin and endangered. And a naked woman body and a Taliban is something that is usually not mixed. It's about financial power versus the power of the state and the struggle between these two evil powers. So there's always all these kind of roads into the painting. And when you leave, you probably have more questions than answers. And that's the generosity of a painting. There's always the level of what you call in content and interpretation. It looks actually like Daniel had other plans. At first he had other plans that went that direction, because a lot of the paint is running that direction. You call these noses the colors that dropped, and then he tried to hide them with the green, and then he found out he took the wrong color and you will see it through anyway. And then suddenly, you know, he probably tried different directions. And in the end, he did this bravoura style painting of just drawing over the surface. And then he just left it as an artistic decision. But it was also just, it, but honestly, it's just laziness and improvisation. It's almost like a, almost like a drawing. It's just thinly painted on top of a lot of mess. I think it's the absolute right thing to do because it leaves place for the accident and the, let's say, playfulness or intelligence of the accident. I actually like that it's absolutely flat. Absolutely flat and, and closed. And I like this nonchalant way of just drawing over this flatness. At the end of the day, I think, it's always about how it's done and how, how the way it is done also describes the view on the world. I think I feel connected. It's a work, I would say, that was, I had never seen before. You know, I immediately understand where it comes from. I think we, have, we share a lot of sh same interests. I think we eat from a lot of the same sources. I think when we both die, and, and when, when we're nearing death, people will not be able to tell it apart anymore. It means nothing. It's just like in the library. He's with an R and I'm with an R. That's why they put us together. It's all a coincidence.